Hello, I'm Jessica Gall. Indiana Senator Evan Bayh is not running for re-election. Bayh made the announcement in Indianapolis Monday afternoon. The 54-year-old former governor says partisanship in Washington is what motivated his decision. The news shocked many after polls showed him ahead in a possible November matchup with former Republican Senator Dan Coats. Bayh's decision opens up the race for that seat and is attracting national attention from Democrats and Republicans. Bloomington restaurant owner Tamara DiPolito is now the only Democrat left in the primary race for Bayh's seat. But DiPolito still needs 1,000 more signatures by noon on Tuesday to officially be on the May ballot. Five Republicans are seeking Bayh's seat, including Coates and former Congressman John Hotstetler. A Bloomington man will spend the rest of his life in prison on charges of producing child pornography. 50-year-old Ricky Rary pleaded guilty to two counts of child exploitation in federal court. Authorities began their investigation into Rary last year following a report from the Indiana Department of Child Services. That report detailed an incident involving Rary and two females under the age of 10. During their investigation, authorities recovered pornographic images of the victims on Rary's laptop computer. An Indiana Salvation Army disaster team returned to the U.S. on Valentine's Day after an extended stay in earthquake-ravaged Haiti. Workers say damage there is the worst they've ever seen. The Salvation Army plans to continue sending local teams to Haiti to assist in the relief efforts. Since the earthquake hit Haiti over a month ago, the Salvation Army has provided Haitians with 2 million meals, 500,000 gallons of water, and medical care to more than 16,000 patients. Kids enjoyed another snow day, but drivers had to navigate slippery roads as another round of snow fell across Indiana. Indiana Department of Transportation officials say plow drivers are plowing and putting down chemicals. Officials say they will stay out around the clock until the snowstorm passes. Snow has caused many vehicle accidents and at least one fatality. Tonight, areas south of Interstate 70 are expecting the most snow. That portion of the state is under a winter storm warning and could get between 5 and 10 inches of snow tonight. Parts of central Indiana north of Interstate 70 are under a winter weather advisory and may get 2 to 6 inches of snow. For your weather tonight, cloudy with a 30% chance of snow showers and nearly steady temps in the low 20s. For your weather tomorrow, high of 28 and another 30% chance of snow. For WTIU News, I'm Jessica Gall.